Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to target a specific child of an element using jQuery. Uh, we've seen why ID attributes are so convenient for targeting with jQuery selectors, but you won't always have such neat IDs to work with. Fortunately, jQuery has some other tricks for targeting the right elements. jQuery uses CSS selectors to target elements. The target nth child CSS selector allows you to select all the nth children with the target class or element type. Here's how you would give the third element in each well the bounce class. So one, two, three, this means the fifth and the second. Uh, we want to go target the nth child um, three and we want to add an animated class of bounce. And so if we were to throw this into our document.ready function, we would see that just these two would bounce. We want to make the second child in each of your well elements bounce. So we could just go two. Um, you must select the elements children with the target class. Uh, I think that probably passes it. They kind of made it overly easy by making it so that you can just copy and paste it in there and then just change one number. Um, but yeah, this is something you could blast through. I mean, it makes sense to write it out, but at the end of the day, this is how you, how you do it. Um, first off, we're setting... We're um, we're finding uh, first off we're setting the target the ch the target of t uh, we're going for the class of target and so when we come down here oh we want to target uh, nth wait where do we get target from this nth child let's find target Okay, yeah, so we're selecting, um, yeah, yeah, actually this is, this is useful to break down a little bit. So let's set this equal to let um, target uh, child's target children is equal to this guy. And then we can go uh, target children dot add class. And this will make it so that it bounces. Oops. So yeah, we're setting target children variable equal to the nth children. Now, what happens if we console.log uh, target children? We'll see that they come down here, and then we see we've got two of them selected. So, I mean, if we were to have just target, if we were just to select the target, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six elements because we're selecting each button. But because we're adding this in here, the nth child, and this is just a a jQuery kind of way of writing uh, functions, uh, getting access to jQuery functions. You target the nth child in the second element, and then that makes it so that you have only so you're selecting these two. And then that way, when you add the class of animated bounce, only the second position gets um, animated bounce. So we run the test. That passes just as well. So you can assign um, variables to you can you can assign. Uh, elements of the HTML to variables and then do things with those elements just like I, I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, I went a little more into depth on that one. Hope this helps you guys and we'll see you in the next lesson.